princesses have come a long way since their cookie cutter days. Tonight, the star studded cast of Cinderella explains why the fairy tale got a modern update. Here's ABC's Nick Watt. Oh, oh, oh. Are you all right, Miss? What did he call you? Never mind what they call me. This is the pivotal scene in Cinderella. Where do you live, Mr. Kit? At the palace. My father's teaching me his trade. A chance meeting with the prince in the forest, long before the ball. Was that in the cartoon? No. No, in the cartoon they meet. The prince is in it for like all of two minutes. They dance. She's dreaming of the prince right from the start, and then he saves her. Okay. So this is a really different take on that. They fall in love when she's in rags and has no idea who he is. Do they treat you well? Oh, better than I deserve, most likely. Inner beauty. Real love. I hope to see you again, miss. And I you. A subtle retelling of an ancient tale. There's a real possibility to re-express, refresh uh, the character of Cinderella. Not being a passive victim, someone waiting for a man to rescue her. It seemed that was not a message that I particularly wanted to be part of sending out. So you see a meeting, an equal meeting of minds. Kate Blanchett plays the wicked stepmother with relish. Is there someone we've forgotten? <laughs> it's my place. Oh, it seems too much to expect you to prepare breakfast, serve it, and still sit with us. Wouldn't you prefer to eat when all the work is done, Ella? Or should I say Cinderella? That was the only bit where I really got kind of annoyed at her passivity, in a sense. Right. But I think what's great from what Lily is actually doing with the character is that in every measure that the stepmother has... Um, turned uh, jealous, cruel, mean, vindictive and spiteful because of the tragedy that she has experienced. The tragedy has allowed... Uh, she's an empath, in a way, in a way Cinderella. Yes, stepmother. Well, you needn't call me that. Madam will do. How did you get this role? I actually originally went in for one of the sisters to play Anastasia. Um, and I had this, like, awful pink-orange jumper and, and my hair had been dyed blonde, had big brown roots. I'm so happy to meet you. Oh, you have such pretty hair. Oh, thank you. You should have it styled. Oh, I'm sure you're right. I think, because I had, I had blonde hair, the cast said, oh, you should read for Ella while you're here. But do you actually have blonde hair? So I'm naturally a brunette. OK. This is all lies. And so, of course, is all this visual trickery confined to cartoons when... Disney made its last Cinderella back in 1950. On the stroke of 12, the spell will be broken. We can really do quite a lot in the photo real world and right. produce mice and horses and uh, geese and footmen that are alarmingly real, uh, but have creative control over that in a way that, that might previously have only been the province of animated films. Now, there's been a little controversy over whether Cinderella's waist was also CGI'd. I'm more interested in Richard Madden's eyes. Was he wearing, like, aqua blue contact lenses? <laughs> he genuinely isn't. Those are really his eyes? Yeah, it's really distressing. It was, and it's quite distracting and, 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 and wonderful to look into his eyes. And they had the most extraordinary chemistry. And watching them dance they, they in the ball... they actually have an affair? I cannot reveal that. Okay. You know, but there's a... Uh, <laughs> 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 oh, you're that kind of journalist. I'm not. I'm really all about how they, for the first time in telling this tale, fill out Cinderella's life, her loss, her motivation. You understand the, Cinderella's backstory and why she stays in such a torturous situation. And makes her triumph all the sweeter. They're all looking at you. Believe me, they're all looking at you. And now they're all looking at Lily James. Her previous biggest role was in Downton Abbey and... I had a tiny part in Wrath of the Titans. I was handmaiden to Rosamund Pike. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> so, yeah, this is a bit different. Yeah. <laughs> I thought breakfast was ready. Oh, it is, madam. I'm only mending the fire. So, um, who else could have played Cinderella? You auditioned to play Cinderella, of course. Of course, of course, and I'm a little bit cross. You know, they were doing CGI, they could, you know, do a little bit. No, I had friends say to me, <laughs> When I told them what I was doing, they were looking at me with sort of slightly concerned, how do, I, how do they ask me the question, aren't you slightly too old? The idea of me playing Cinderella. But it's, you know, you do, it's wonderful to be offered the villain. Is it? Yes, you like being great. the villain? It's fantastic. Why? Because I'm so lovely in real life. Gentlemen, oh. may I present my daughters, Anastasia and Rosella? Off you go! She got to wear great dresses, and so did Cinderella. Worst part of the whole experience 
having to put a portaloo under my skirt to go to the bathroom because the dress took 20 minutes to get in and 20 minutes to get out. So that was sort of like an hour turnaround for a, a loo break. Wow. Enough now. Maybe keep that to Enough yourself. now, yeah. Lily. Costume designer Sandy Powell brought us through a secret door amongst the handbags at Saks Fifth Avenue to show us the actual dress now on display in the store's window. This dress probably took longer than any other dress I've ever designed for any film. It took an army to build. 500 man hours, 20 different people did different things on the dress. I mean, there'd be one person who was just doing the hems, one person who were, who were heat pressing all the Swarovski crystal, one person would dye the fabrics, four miles of thread in the hems. A fabulous old-fashioned dress worn by a fairy tale figure who now has a modern story to tell. This isn't a girl that's waiting for a prince to rescue her. This is a girl that's dealing with her own life, a hard life, and, and, and has such strength and courage that she's doing it really well and making her own choices. You must simply have courage and be kind. I'm Nick Watt for Nightline in Hollywood. Cinderella, brought to you by our parent company, Disney, opens in movie theaters this Friday, March 13th.